Malaysia's former Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad is considering forming a new party. That's if the court upholds its sacking or his sacking from Bersatu, the party he co-founded in 2016. The 95-year-old says he has yet to decide whether to contest in the next general election. He also does not expect a snap poll this year, despite the thin parliamentary majority of the ruling Pakistan uh, Parikatan Nasional. And Dr. Mahathir has been speaking to our correspondent, Melissa Go, in this exclusive interview. Not this year. Maybe next year. But I think uh, if Muhyiddin wants to have his way, he would want to serve until the end of the term. Which is 2023. Yeah. yeah. So if a snap poll is called, will you contest Dun? Well, uh, that, that is something that I've not decided. But I will play a very prominent role uh, in the campaign and all that. If I am 98 years old, uh, when they have the election, obviously there are physical constraints. But if I am well, I will uh, give every support possible. So if you were to contest, it will be under a new party that's going to be formed? If we are expelled from the party, we have to consider uh, having another party. So if the August 7th uh, court decision is not in your favour, you may consider forming a new party? Yes. Pakatan Harapan had given the full mandate to opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim um, to negotiate with anybody. Is talk still ongoing between you two or has the door closed? After a long discussion, repeated discussion with uh, DAP, Amana and Kadilan, their struggle seems to be concentrated on making Anwar the candidate for prime ministership. There are a lot of people now who are against him. I am there not because I want to be a Prime Minister. I've been Prime Minister twice and that's enough. But a lot of people in the peninsula, Malaysia in particular, uh, do not give uh, PH that kind of support, uh, especially when they see that uh, the Malay party is not in. So Tun, are you saying that if Anwar wants to be the Prime Minister, he has to join a Malay party? Not join, he has to be supported. Anwar is the first one, after leaving uh, AMNO, he decided to form a multiracial party. And he went beyond that by condemning race-based party as being racist and all that. Could it be he's not Malay enough then for you, Anwar? Well, I know it's not regarded as a, a protagonist for the Malays because he was the one who um, started a party that is multiracial and many of his leaders in the party were of uh, not, not Malays. Even Azmin, many of his supporters were Indian and Chinese. The Malays are very suspicious of non party or of multiracial parties. Since you mentioned about Azmin, you used to trust him as your minister, you handpicked him, and you also defended him amid the sexual misconduct allegation. How's your relationship with him now, given now he is supporting and he is very close to Prime Minister Muhyiddin? His focus is mainly on against Anwar. The purpose of his uh, involvement in politics is about quarrelling with Anwar. And that is uh, too narrow uh, perspective for a politician. You should think about the development of the country. You cannot just, uh, because you dislike for one person, that colours everything that you do. Will you work with him? We will see how he performs. Well, I've spoken with Anwar, and Anwar said the country deserves a fresh start. And he's also willing to offer a minister mentor or a senior minister position to you if you work together uh, to form the next government. I have to get some, some experience about advising prime ministers. They don't listen. They want to do things their own way. They want to leave their own legacy. Both uh, Abdullah and, Na and Najib never listened to me. And Anwar, of course, even while he was in the government before, he was not listening to me at all. 
he went his own way to the point where he thought that well I was staying on too long I should be retired by now so he engineered a move to get rid of me you talk about uh, re reviving the government that was chosen by the people the government that was chosen by the people was led by me not by Anwar uh, so if you make him the head it's not the government chosen by the people